your more advanced injection systems. You have a dual injector and a triple injector. Like these look better than all the lures that I see in the stores. Oh, that's already kind of looking like June bug a little bit. Oh yeah. Open that mold up and let's see how you did. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I think it's big. On the custom Cinco, let's go. What's going on? Welcome to the Fishing with Norm YouTube channel. Comment days popping up down below. So make sure you guys hit the subscribe button and the bell. Leave a comment down below on this video for your chance to be next video's comment of the day. You guys have been going absolutely crazy on the subscribe button lately. So thank you guys so much. But guys, today we are making our own fishing lures. I am so excited. I know this has been like one of the most requested videos on my YouTube channel so far. The only problem is I have absolutely no clue how to make my own fishing lure. If it was up to me, I'd probably go pick a stick up out of the yard and put hooks on it and call it a fishing lure. But Today we're gonna have some help from a bait making fishing YouTuber here and we're actually here at his garage slash warehouse where he makes all of these custom lures and what we're gonna do is make some of these custom lures and actually go try to catch some big fish on them. I'm super excited guys so without further ado let's go make some lures. All right guys we are here with world's worst fishing. Uh, welcome to my garage everybody because I'm sure y'all were just dying to see it. So this is the work table right here uh, if you can't tell. So this is where basically all the magic happens. Basically to get into your own soft plastic lure making, you're obviously gonna need the most important thing, which is your work table, a nice workbench, nice uh, even table. If, if it's tilted, your plastic's gonna tilt. So um, some of the basic things that we use, of course, is liquid plastisol. So it looks like milk, but um, I don't recommend drinking it. The next most important thing you're gonna need, obviously, is a mold. So we're gonna start today with some stick worms and that is what your basic injection mold looks like. So you can see this is a four cavity injection mold. The plastic will actually enter the mold from the top. It will fill up this runner and then it will shoot through the cavities. Whenever you close that, you now get a perfectly round worm. The next thing you'll probably also want to invest in if, if you're gonna get into this in the future, is some colorant. So anytime you buy baits off the store, uh, let, let's say you really like green pumpkin or watermelon or June bug, it started with some sort of basic liquid pigment like this. Uh, my favorite part is the flake. I have more glitter than like a craft store in here. So um, you, you gotta have your flakes to get your colors. Uh, since we're making stick worms, we're gonna put some salt in them today. This little thing right here, it's a giant syringe. And this is how we get the plastic from here into here. So that's kind of your, your basic rundown on basic simple injection and um, I mean there, there's not a better bass, fit, bass catching worm than, than the stick worm so that's where we're going to start today. Norm's never made baits so today is his training day and we're about to get started. Here you have what are considered your more advanced injection systems. You have a dual injector and a triple injector and they do exactly what you think. This one runs two colors into the mold this one runs three colors. This is how you get laminates. So anytime you see a bait on the shelf that has maybe one color on the top and the bottom color is a different color, it was dual injected. And then you can also do triple injection. Down here, we have a really fun shelf. This is all my flakes. So I mean, just glitter for days. I mean, this is like a half pound of glitter itself. And I don't have to tell you guys, this lasts like years. Um, you know, Even as much as I'm out here making these lures, I rarely ever have to replace any of this stuff. So, have you ever got questions going into the store and buying a ton of glitter? Do like the people checking out like kind of question you and like? <laughs> uh, no, not not necessarily. But the the ongoing joke with a lot of bait makers is that all of our wives think we've been at the strip club because we're just covered in glitter. So, you know, I mean, di different different size flakes and different size containers. I mean, there's there's flake for for days. Um, this is this is some really fun stuff. This, this is called hologram flake. So I love like... It, isn't, that, it, it, yeah. isn't that sick? Yeah, so you know, there's just a lot of different... Would you put flakes. that like in swim baits and stuff like that? That, jerk baits, um, it, it, anything really. I mean, this is custom bait making. You can do however you want. I see all the molds down here too. So oh, basically... Yeah, yeah, I forgot the molds. <laughs> whenever you yeah. want to make a different lure. So you have a mold for like worms, you have a different yeah. mold for frogs, you have different mold for... Yeah, so, so like here's here's a uh, here, here's a creature bait, a, a flipping oh, bait, you know? Go. Yeah. <laughs> um, so, you know, we have several of those. Um, certain swim baits, we have uh, crawls. So, for example, like, here are some crawls. Pretty much anything you want, you can get. Yeah. Um, you know, I certainly don't have it all, but I have a large enough mold collection that almost 
anything you want, I, I can probably do. I don't have a lizard though. I really need to get a lizard. But for some reason, I just don't have a lizard. But yeah, you know, frogs, worms, um, you know, here's, here's a custom mold that, that I had done just for me. It's not like a uh, production mold that you can buy, but um, you know, so like there's my frog mold, for example. There's really no limits to what you can do. Guys, I seriously think that this worm would be, I mean, this looks like a worm that you could buy out of the store. Honestly, yeah. better than a lot of the worms. I feel like I can catch That's why you make your pounder. Own. That's why yeah. you make your own. I mean, good point. Yeah. Those are really cool. I like these two, the two color ones. So yeah. we're gonna stick simple today, like this type of stuff. Yeah. But dude, these are so crazy. So guys, if you wanna see me try to attempt to make one of these crazy complicated swim baits for my first time ever and go try to catch a big fish on this, I mean, it looks like it would catch an absolutely massive fish. Have you caught big fish on this? Uh Stripe, stripe bass. Stripe, stripe bass? Stripers, yes. Maybe we could do that too, guys. Yeah. If this video could hit 7,500 likes, We'll come back and we will do like a custom big swim bait, build your own lure fishing challenge. I think that would be awesome, but I'm just admiring these baits right now. Like these look better than all the lures that I see in the stores. It's so crazy. I wish you guys could see these in person. They're just absolutely crazy. I'm gonna show them, an, <laughs> I'm gonna show them this one too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're gonna be lucky if I don't steal some of these today. I'm yeah, kidding. Yeah. <laughs> these are so cool though. These, this one doesn't have the eye yet. It is in the lure making process. Yes. But that is just a, Shad right there, and that looks freaking crazy, dude. Glove, gloves on. Gloves All are right. on. Now, to make June bug, we want to use a purple pigment. This is black gray. So I'm just going to shake it up for you. But go ahead and pop that cap off. All right. Squeeze some in. I'll kind of tell in you this. Not. Yep. Okay. Go straight into the cup. I'll tell you when to stop. So you're faster, slower. Is that good? Stop right there. Stop right there. All right. That should do it. It's just, it's all like timing and muscle memory. Like you, <laughs> like when you start, you can count drops, but you don't necessarily have to. All right, give her a little stir. All right. So it lays like a rapid stir? Is it just like just, a slow? Just, yeah, just stir, yeah, just, yeah, yeah, get it done. I'm trying to get a good angle for you. Oh, that's already kind of looking like June bug a little bit. Oh yeah, it'll, it'll get a nice shade of dark purple. Oh yeah, y'all see that? Oh, yeah. Y'all see that nice purple shade right there? J bug all day. All right, you're, you want to take this little measuring spoon okay. and do a full scoop of this flake right here and this flake. What's the difference between these? These both look green. Right. Am I crazy? Yep. Oh, are these smaller? These are bigger. Yep. So that is that is your your basic flake sizes are 0 0.015, 0 0.035, 0 0.062. This is 0 0.015, and this is medium flake 0 0.035. This all is right. this is crazy. Yep. I have no clue there is this side of fishing. Oh, like this dude. is, I feel like I'm a cooking channel right now. It, 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 it basically <laughs> is like cooking recipes for men who like to fish and women. There's a lot of women that do it. All right, yep. dump this in here. Dump it in there. All right. Do I need to stir now? Or yeah, later? yeah. I, I like to kind of stir the flake in as I go. Okay. And so a lot of June bugs are just purple and then small flakes. So you see that there. Um, I like to add different size flake just for some texture. So again, let's just do a scoop of that. There you go. Boom! All right, he did it. Let's grab one scoop of that salt. All right. And dump it in. I'll, I'll help you mix. Cause uh, yeah, you, you really got- Do to... I do it fast or slow? Slow, slower. Yeah. Okay. Well, well yeah, a little faster than that. <laughs> You'll like it. It's, it's kind of like uh, dumping grits in water. All, All right. right. For, for those of you in the South that eat grits, like I do, you, you have to stir or else they clump together. So now we have a nice salty, June bug mix. The time has come. So. Oh, geez. What do I do with this thing? <laughs> that, that's your injector. Okay. So, now take your hand and draw up with that one. You're going to have to pull really hard, but pull it. Yep. Pull it up. Put that nozzle in that hole right there. All right. Now, now I'm, all right. Oh, now, geez. Yep. Now push down on the handle. Push down. All right. Did you feel it stop? Yeah, I felt it stop. All right. Now go to the next one. Yep, the next hole, push it down. That was it. You just made your first ever worms. Open that mold up and let's see how you did. This, All is, right. your, this is your first ever baits, buddy. How do I open up? Do I just pull? Just pull, pull it apart. Oh, yeah, hold on. Here, just pull it from the top. Oh, okay. <laughs> there, oh, there we, we go. go. There we go. Look at that. Dude, that is awesome. All right, so we just got Norm's other two molds open and he got all 12. So sometimes what can happen is if you don't refill the top like, like we were doing, when that plastic draws in, you'll get like a little hollow spot in the in the front of that oh first bait. But nah, man, all, all of those are good. So now, all at the same time. Yep, rip them off. 
Boom. So satisfying. It, it's, like, it's, it's removing the umbilical cord. <laughs> Make your own lures fishing challenge in parentheses satisfying. Guys, we are also gonna be giving away all of my first ever made lures. Yeah. All you guys have to do to enter this giveaway is be subscribed, hit the like button, and guys also go check out World's Worst Fishing for helping me out. He's gonna be linked down below, and I think we're gonna make some crazy lures. Maybe even do, like we talked a little bit about maybe doing like a holiday special, maybe like Halloween baits, Christmas baits, all that stuff, yeah. and more giveaways soon to come for you guys, so make sure you guys are subscribed. All right guys, we are here at the pond. I got you guys kind of set up here. We got the uh, the custom Cinco's I made in this bag right here. I think I'm gonna throw these first in the uh, Junebug color. They look so much better out here in the sunlight, and then we have the flukes, which I'm really excited about too. The crazy yellow and black color that we made not too much on camera, but I really like this color as well. So, I'm gonna go ahead and start fishing at the pond right here behind me. Let's go ahead and get started. Oh, that's one. Oh my gosh, yes, there we go. Oh my gosh, my first ever fish on my custom lure. And it threw, no, it's still on here. No, he threw it off. What the heck? No, I lost one of my custom Cinco's. Guys, that is crazy. The feeling of catching a fish on a lure you made yourself. I mean, obviously with the help of World's Worst Fishing, but I kind of made it by myself, not really. But guys, that is cool. We're gonna go ahead and uh, let him go. See you, buddy. So guys, that was here on the custom made Cinco's that we made right here, just in the June bug color that we mixed up. And what I'm thinking is I wanna catch another fish on one of these and then switch it up to those crazy flukes we made with that chartreuse in the black. I think those will be really cool too. And how that last one bit is there's actually that big clump of grass right there that you guys can see. And what I did is I reeled my worm right by it and I let it sink right on the edge. I didn't even twitch it once once it was sinking on this group of grass right here. And I figured that since it's super hot summertime, those fish are gonna be hanging out around these isolated clumps like this. I might even try casting at these clumps right over here. Oh, that's him. Oh my gosh, did you guys see that under the tree? <laughs> oh my Cinco, yes. All I used to fish with back in the day was weightless Cinco's, weightless flukes, and now like going back to it, it's so hard to detect the bites compared to, uh, you know, like rattle trap or any other type of fishing, honestly, but having a lot of fun. All right, guys, so I'm thinking right here is gonna be a good spot for me to slow down with the Cinco. There's water that flows in through here and there's a deep ditch that kind of runs right here out to that fountain. So what I think I'm gonna do actually, just cast right on out there. Just drag my worm in like super slow on the bottom. One of those summer days, I feel like if a big one sees this thing, you know, dragging right in front of its face, it might pick it up. So I'm just gonna have to play the patient game, I guess. Oh, that's him, that's him. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, I think it's big. Oh, <laughs> it's a nice one. I was dragging this to go all the way in, guys. Oh my gosh. Please don't, please don't come off. Please stay on, please stay on. He's got a good hook in him. <laughs> oh my gosh, that is the biggest fish I've caught out of here in a long time. Holy cow, dragging the Cinco. That was absolutely crazy, guys. This is easy, three and a half, close to four pounder. On the custom Cinco, let's go. Well, guys, that might just be the luck of my very first customized lure. It's probably close to a four, if not very, very close to it. Oh, you got it, girl, you got it. You got it. <laughs> oh, man, normally you catch one and two pounders out of here, but to catch a four pounder, that is a very pleasant surprise. Oh, my gosh. All right, guys, that's going to do it for today's video. We ended up catching three fish. I mean, I'm okay with that. We missed the one on the fluke that I really wanted to catch, but that's okay. Guys, go ahead, leave this video with a like. Remember to enter the giveaway by liking and also subscribing to my channel. Thank you to World's Worst Fishing for helping me out, making my first lures, and I'm sure we're going to make a ton of really cool custom lures. Comment down below, guys. The colors, the challenge challenges what type of lures you want to see down below and uh yeah thank you guys so much for all the support and until the next fishing adventure fish bump i'm out of here